All right, in today's video, we're gonna go through a few websites that people have submitted through the Facebook group to get reviewed. So let's cue that retro intro and get right into it. All right guys, so if you're new to this channel and you wanna learn a couple of things about e-com, drop shipping, print on demand, definitely subscribe and turn that bell on. Also check out the links in the description below where you can find the Donkey Kong Facebook group. Plus you can also find our Discord channel and you'll also find a link to the 100% free Goodbye Gurus course plus more. All right guys, in every video I give away a 30 minute consultation. If you wanna have a chance to win in the comments below, just tell me what's written on my shirt. It's right here, it's the name of my free course. Write that down in the comments below and you will go in for the chance to win. Winner will be announced in the next video plus in the Facebook group. So if you want to join the Facebook group, check out the link in the description below. There's over 2,000 members who will be more than happy to help you grow your e-com business. So I just want to pretense this by saying I do not mean to offend anybody if I say anything bad about your website. I'm going to try and be as fair as possible and I'm going to make these videos a regular thing. So if you are interested in getting your store reviewed, definitely let me know in the Facebook group whenever you see me posting up asking for stores to be reviewed. And with that all said and done, let's jump right into it and get started. All right, the first website is Cajun Outdoor Living. And the reason I'm loading this page up again is because I want to say that I don't like what's about to happen here. So we get one pop-up straight away and then we get a second pop-up. Now this is very annoying um, as a customer. So I would definitely look at removing probably this one here. I'm guessing this is just the one that allows people to get notifications on Chrome. Yeah, I, I would just say get rid of that. Other than that though, I've gone through this website. It looks clean. There's lots of white space. I would like a little bit more branding. Um, I can see your logo is very small. I know this is a limitation of Debutify. So I would probably look at increasing that a little bit, um, but I do know using this theme, we're a little bit limited to how big we can make our logo. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, you've got a lot of white space, which is good. White space is great for websites. You've got things nicely laid out on your collections list there. I can't right click to inspect because you're using the uh, protector on your website. Otherwise I would right click to see what this looks like on mobile. However, I'm gonna assume that it looks nice. Another thing I did notice that you need to get rid of is this partner products. Now I'm guessing you're using a app from the app store that is free. What generally happens is when the free limitations run out, they add this to your website and this is terrible. So if someone's browsing your store and they happen to see that you're selling, you know, all these random things, even though it's not you selling them, this is just taking pictures people to another place to make these purchases, it doesn't look good on your brand. So I would definitely look at getting rid of whatever app you're using that is adding this to your store. But your pictures are high quality, your products all fit the niche. One thing that I am very concerned about is this hunting section, okay? Now, when you posted this in the Facebook group, you actually said you couldn't post the link because the products you're selling don't meet Facebook guidelines. So my question is, how do you expect to sell on Facebook or even on, on Google? Um, I don't think that there's any platform that will allow advertising of this kind of product, especially when you're uh, referring to things like gun holsters and stuff like that. So I would definitely look at fixing that up and possibly remove it. If it's not a big seller on your store, then just get rid of it all. That way there, your website is free to be advertised on all platforms without any limitations or without any risks. But we'll just head into a product page. And what I would like to say is that the blue that you're using, I think needs to be more your brand blue because this is just a really bright blue. I can see that your blue here is more of a teal color. And also you're using the default fonts. Um, I definitely, definitely recommend changing this, okay? Change your default fonts to something that is more suited to your brand, okay? I would say your currency converter isn't working, but I have looked and you aren't actually using Australian dollar as a possible currency. So if you're not advertising to Australia, obviously that's fine. However, you've got New Zealand dollars there. So I'm guessing that you possibly would be advertising to Australia. Definitely make sure you're using Australian dollars as a currency and test out to make sure that works. And one other thing that I wanna mention is I don't like this check out securely text on top of trust badges. I personally just think it makes it look like you're begging for trust when you don't need to. If a customer can't trust your website, then by having this line isn't going to help that. So I would remove this text and I would also look at making these buttons a little bit smaller because they're a little bit too big for my liking. But other than that, honestly, the website is clean. The product page looks good. You've got your images in your product description. If I could take this to mobile, we would see exactly how this looks on a mobile, which I'm guessing would look pretty decent. The only thing I would probably add to this product for example, would be a little video of how the lures go through the water, but obviously that's up to you. And if you have access to that video, which you probably won't have that. But other than that, everything you need to know, I mean, I go fishing, so all the information that I need to know is available here. My only other concern would be, why would I come to this website to make a purchase and wait up to four weeks when I could go down the road to the fishing shop and buy whatever I need to, or buy from an online store, which I normally buy from and have everything arrive within a few days. So your prices really, really need to be competitive. Unfortunately, I don't think 
design, just using this product as an example, is that competitive because I could buy in the exact same set of lures from a brand that I know and that I regularly buy from for probably the same price or cheaper and have it delivered to my house within a couple of days. And one last thing, you've got this cooking gadgets menu option here. There is nothing in there. So just remove that. It doesn't need to be there. It's just taking up space. But other than that, I'm really impressed with how you've got your navigation. Everything is very easy to navigate, which is always a plus. And you've got all your socials linked. You've got everything linked up properly down the bottom. So everything looks good. I'll just play around with my coloring a little bit more, make it more branded and definitely change your fonts because this font doesn't match your brand. Okay, next we have Wink Up Store. And this is by the looks of things, a general store and it's a general store to the absolute definition. So you are selling absolutely anything and everything. Now, I'm not too sure if you've gone through the free Goodbye Gurus course, but I try to stay away from these types of stores. I think even if you are going for a general store, kind of have some kind of theme to it. So maybe go for you know an electronics general store where things kind of look like they make sense. Just coming to your store here, I've got a whole lot of everything. So I can buy stuff for kids, I can buy stuff for pets, beauty, health, fitness, there's just way too much going on there's too many options so that's definitely the first thing i would look at changing layout wise there's no issues really and again guys if you're using daybeautify i'll put a link in the description below daybeautify is a very easy theme to use and it pretty much always looks good there's not much you can do to mess up daybeautify two things i want to note down here in your footer it's 24 slash 7 not the uh star and that's just something that you can fix up pretty quickly and also you've got the default email and phone number here i mean either change them or remove them i'm guessing you either haven't finished your store or if you have finished your store um definitely definitely get rid of these asap and finally i do recommend removing the theme by debutify and if you're there at the same time you might as well get rid of the powered by shopify from the footer as well and then just scrolling back to the top another thing i want to mention is that you've got absolutely no navigation so you just got a shop button and that's it so let's say you advertise to one of these products let's open up a baby's own product okay let's go to this pram all right so let's say you're advertising this pram and the customer comes to this page they accidentally click the home button or they want to go and have a browse at the rest of your store because they like the little pram and they want to go and see what else they can buy they're going to come back to a home page and then they're going to have to go through this entire process to get back to the pram if they can't find it they're going to bounce they're going to leave all right so that's something you need to do fix up the navigation and make sure you've got that sorted and maybe look at changing the collection image as well it's not really necessary but if you do want to have something there make sure it looks good on mobile it obviously looks all right but on desktop you know it needs a bit of fixing and just coming back to the pram or the stroller as it's called here this is just way too much of a discount like it's just so unrealistic that if a customer is looking at it they're just not going to believe it the discount actually exists okay so you're getting like over 50 percent off just randomly on a website that's just not something you want to do stick to 20 25 percent and also only put discounts on products that you're actually advertising so if we go through your actual shop and let's just have a look i'm just going to quickly open up a few of these collections and I, I hope i don't see it but okay so every single product is basically discounted and they're all got these massive discounts like this one here also 50 percent off this one here again 50 percent off and then you got one here that's just a dollar 25 discount <laughs> so not everything needs to be on discount only discount the stuff that you're actually advertising and 50 percent discounts are just way way too unrealistic again look at this one this is over 50 percent so uh, saving 120 dollars that's like a 60 70 percent discount it's just way way too much okay so only discount the stuff that you're actually advertising at the time you're advertising it and make a discount more realistic you know 20 25 percent even 30 percent absolute maximum but anything more than that is just an unrealistic discount and those might have worked back in the day but they don't work anymore so definitely look at fixing that up and then one last thing i want to quickly mention is that on these testimonials here just get rid of these photos because these people don't look real and it's just not going to make a difference to the customer whether there's a photo or not unless it's like a selfie where you can tell it's a real photo so i'll just get rid of them and leave the text with the name there all right, now we've got customize for you.me. Now, first thing I'm going to say, the website is called customize for you. I've browsed through, there is absolutely nothing customizable on this website. It's just a general store. It do doesn't make sense again, okay? You just wanna keep things consistent with your brand. So I'll just change the name of your website and change the name of your brand because customize for you to me tells me that I'm gonna be able to get something that I can personalize and customize myself. In your header here, just leave it as free track shipping, get rid of end best prices. That just doesn't really make sense. All right. 
right? Um, again, this is the same issue that the other website had. Everything is discounted and I'll go through all your collections in one second, okay? This should be 30 day money back guarantee, not 30 days money back. And also again, remove the theme by Debutify and if you want the Powered by Shopify there. But the same issue happens on this website. Everything is discounted by 50%. We look through the collections and they're just all these massive unrealistic discounts, okay? And again, it's just a big range of absolutely anything and everything on your store. Now I get it, you wanna go for a general store, but at some point customers are going to browse through your website. And if they're just seeing that you've just got anything and everything thrown on here, it's going to turn them off, okay? So if somebody comes here looking at, you know, some kind of shapewear and then they're browsing through and then they see a thing for I don't know, a mobile phone holder, it's just the same issue. It's just, the, it doesn't make sense. They're not looking at Amazon where they're expecting to see this stuff. First off, they're coming to a website, they're expecting to see customized stuff and they're not gonna find it. And then they're gonna be finding all this stuff. Psychologically, this all plays a big part when a customer is browsing, all right? So the idea of a general everything and anything store, I think is gone and you need to look at kind of having some kind of theme to your store. I would have liked to have seen customizable products, but obviously we can't. There's nothing on here that has that. And just finally, your Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram, everything here is default. They're not linking to anything. So definitely update those and make sure they're linking to your social pages. But other than that, like I'll just say that you have done your product pages pretty well, okay? So the secure and trusted checkout, you know, I don't like that, but it is nice and small, so it's not obtrusive. But your descriptions are pretty good. You've got this GIF here. If you look at it in mobile mode, it's gonna look pretty good on mobile, okay? It's gonna show how the product works and you've got all your reviews there. So everything's looking good in terms of how it looks. I just feel like if you want to go for this general thing, you need to fix up your name and I would at least try to have some kind of theme while you're doing all of that, just so a customer who happens to browse doesn't get confused and get scared away from your website because you have to remember a lot of customers have come to these general stores and they've been scammed in the past so we are trying to avoid that and by avoiding that we need to make our store look legitimate and by looking legitimate we need to have some kind of brand behind our store and the last website i had to bring this up because i've seen this website before i've actually gone through it one of the winners from the free consultation call actually owns this website and i've gone through it and i absolutely love this website i love the products i love everything on it so i wanted to show you guys an example of a great website and this is featheredfront.com okay and this is just absolutely beautiful the website just blends perfectly i can't speak highly enough about how good this website looks and the owner of the website knows because i told them when I first saw it that, you know, I absolutely loved the website. One tweak that they made, which they didn't have prior to us having a chat was the navigation. We've made the navigation a little bit better and easier to navigate. So awesome work on doing that. But other than that, guys, this is a great website. And this is something, this is why I want to show you because I want to show you guys how much you can influence. So look at the branding, the coloring, the products, everything just goes well. You go to a product page, everything looks good. Nothing looks spammy. There's no ridiculous discounts. Everything looks legit. I would come to this website as a customer and I would not think this is a print on demand website okay I would look at this and think this is a legitimate website yeah, they've got a blog they've put in a lot of effort to make this website look 100% legitimate and I'm showing you this website because it's very much inspired by the website I designed in my free course so if you come to bushidoco.com this is the website that I show you how I made it in the course and I show you step by step everything that I do and you'll see a lot of similarities between Bushido Co and Feathered Frond okay although they're completely different niches you come to either of these websites and they both look completely legit you're going through everything suits the branding the products everything suits and you, as you're going through as a customer you are not concerned about anything on these websites okay everything looks like it's supposed to be there and everything looks like a legitimate brand so this is definitely something that i recommend you guys do go through the course watch exactly how i make this because i show you step by step and this is how you can end up with a beautiful website like this where a customer comes to it and instantly feels safe and instantly feels like they're meant to be there all right that's the main thing you have to understand you want your customer to feel like they need to be on that website that the website was made for them because the brand matches what they are who they are as a person it comes out in your website and the best way to do that is by having a legitimate clean and beautiful website obviously it looks great on desktop mobile and all the rest of it but it's a matter of combining absolutely everything you can do to make your website look as legitimate as possible Thank you
All right, guys, so I hope you liked that. If I did review your website and I didn't have some positive things to say about it, I am sorry in advance. Please don't take it personally. It's just me telling you in just a few minutes on the few things that you can fix up. And it's just a matter of making those few small tweaks, which can really help take your website from an okay or an average website to something where a customer comes to it and looks at it and says, you know what, I want to buy from here. Now, I know a lot of people don't really take much, you know, in going into their websites and making things look really really good but think about the websites that you buy from and think about why you buy from them not only do you know their name it's also a matter of the website itself comes across and looks very trustworthy and looks legitimate if you can make it look legitimate and you can make it look trustworthy that's how you build a long-term business and that's how you build a long-term customer base you don't want customers coming to your website seeing that you've got a whole range of products all these ridiculous discounts and all these things that are going to put them off and make them leave because they've heard about scamming websites They've heard about drop shipping probably, and they've heard about all these things where they can start to pick up based on how your website looks. And that's why I really enforce having a beautiful and clean website. And I really, really think it makes a massive difference. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, turn the bell on, all that good stuff. I've got two videos here that if you are interested in print on demand, e-com, drop shipping, or anything like that, they will definitely be able to help you out and teach you a thing or two about the business. And and build a completely legitimate and trustworthy business. I'm G from Donkey Kong. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.